Hey, what's up everyone? Sean here and welcome to this uh, edition of the Detailing Journal. Uh, it is indeed, let me look at the time over there, uh, the 22nd of September. We're already almost at the end of September, guys. Time is going by too fast for me, guys. It is going by too fast. Now, there is the sort of elephant in the room here, or in the garage rather, and yeah. I'm gonna bring this forward a little more. You guys can see it a little better. Just a little bit. And yeah, if you noticed, I got a brand new um, detailing card for myself. Uh, I put this together uh, yesterday. Uh, it took me about three hours though. It took a lot longer than I expected, uh, which is a lot of what was said in the review. So it's not, I'm not the only one. I'm not alone, <laughs> thankfully. So it's not just me. Um, so yeah, you can definitely see a couple, like all the random crap that I've had. A little more organized, just a little bit. And uh, um, I'm really liking how it, um, this came out overall. There were some trouble, but uh, you know, especially with the drawer right here, because I thought I can like reverse it, like uh, have it open to the other side, but it's only one way. So it's only on this side with the handle on this side. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. And been treating me okay so far, um, just from sitting here. <laughs> um, the only thing I would fix though is probably the casters down there. I would like to swap them out for bigger ones in the future. And not to mention the, um, the sort of hardware that came with it, right? The um, little bolts and nuts and stuff like that uh, are a little too long or whatever. So it actually interferes with the um, the swivel of the casters down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, it, it actually interferes um, the, actu the actual swivel. And meaning um, they don't spin around as well. So um, it is a little troublesome to move around or maneuver how I like them to. But other than that, um, definitely not a huge, huge issue. Um, it definitely is holding up together just fine. A lot less wobble for sure, overall. This being, you know, made out of stainless steel, so that's pretty cool. It is like, you know, on the, it is on a thin side, but still a lot more sturdy than the one over there uh, speaking of which so uh, the old detail cart you know the little engine that could pretty much was was what I kind of like unofficially nicknamed it as it is sitting over here it's being officially retired now as just like a, um, a makeshift shelf pretty much so that's where I'm gonna put <laughs> an excess um, uh, amount of gallon bottles I have, you know, from like the um, foaming video and like the soap foaming battle video and like all the rinse lists I bought recklessly. Here's my O&R right here. That it, that's my first rinse list I ever bought. Um, I have not used it ever since. DIY, that's my second one. I've used it more than the uh, O&R because it performed a lot better. And then here is my diluted DIY rinseless version one, mind you, ready to go. I think it's version two, I don't know. Um, either one works fine. Hero rinseless waterless uh, form, one to 64. Uh, so yeah, all that ready to go is in case if I ever need it. And just like, yeah, a um, bunch of other random stuff over here. Uh, it's a little dark, but um, that is nano um, nano skin wheel, wheel and tire cleaner. Just sitting right there as well. Let me move this out of the way, sorry. That used to be my water pump, but don't really use it as well. Should honestly move it back over here and then move um, Brake Buster over there. But yep. Because I don't really use uh, Brake Buster all that much. 
There will be a time, but not now. That is basically the gist of what my old cart is being used for now. And then on top of that is my gallon sort of, um, what do you call these? Like collapsible um, water containers. You can actually like, you know, deflate them or make them flat for storage purposes. Sorry, I had to like move some stuff around still. Um, yeah, so it collapses, it, it can go flat uh, if you wanna store them and then uh, store them away when you're not using them. So that's pretty cool. A little feature. Um, and this is a five gallon uh, container. So this, what this has is uh, five gallons of soft water or um, water from the water softener gone through and then stored into here. And what I do with that is distill it. It definitely does help. It does make a difference if you're just using tap water to distill it versus uh, soft water and then distill it. It does make a difference because there's less to work with from um, soft water. This right here is a little container I'm, I'm using for um, citric acid powder to clean out the water distiller once in a while. Pretty easy. You just have to... Um, Put like two, I, I, I put two capfuls full, of this into a full thing of water in here. And then what you do is run the boiler, so to say, um, for like 20 minutes-ish. Uh, you unplug the fan, that way of course the gas doesn't come out, like the caustic va vapors from the citric acid doesn't escape. I learned my lesson because um, I had this no. I, I I ran it with no top, and it got very caustic in here, so I stopped it. Um, so yeah, I've been, I been. Um, that's how you clean out the water distiller. It's pretty simple, not that hard. You just have to do it once in a while, and be a little mindful about it. And then this is also another collapsible water container of sorts. It's like a bag. If, it's like a tough bag, if you will, for water. That also has um, some form of uh, soft water in there as well. So yeah, that's all my other stuff. Don't mind that for today. But mainly, yes, the detailed cart right here is brand new, and this will be this is going forward will be my main go-to for taking out my stuff from the garage to um, the driveway with all the needs I have for. Um, I don't know why I have a water bottle right here. It's like an empty one. Anyway. So, yep. I got all my goodies right here. So, I have a rinseless right here. I have a uh, one of these like continuous spray bottles with um, diluted DIY rinseless in here. Um, my little uh, cup for measuring. I need to clean this out. Um, Car Pro Reset. Um, probably my favorite. Shampoo for uh, cleaning cars. Incredible suds right here. It is just for those like, special occasions. Uh, here's a di um, diluted incredible suds prepared for foaming purposes. And then here's my current favorite um, foam sprayer that I primarily use for my tires and wheels. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty, and it hasn't died on me yet. So there's that. Um, and then yeah, my box of gloves. I'm starting to like uh, uh, hit the hit the end. So I'll I'll definitely have to buy some more down the road. Here's my um, tank for uh, water softening. Right here, this is the four and a half by twenty uh, size. Right here. Okay, and then hanging on the cart are my two spray on, uh, spray on, rinse off sealants, uh, wet coat, and quick beads from DIY Detail. Wet coat from Gion, of course. Um, then yeah, and then basically, um, 
There are some changes as well along the way. So I only have my water softener on here because I feel like this, that is the most practical um, thing for me to use because keeping up with the wa uh, water deionizer, which is over here, that little thing is going to be a hassle. Um, that deionizer, uh, what do you call it, resin, is probably going to die pretty fast if I ever do get around to actually using it because of how hard my water is. So that's why I have a, um, a softener here for, in the first place. And I've been using rinseless wash a lot, pretty much as my go-to for cleaning my car and detailing and all that stuff. So I think there really is um, less and less of a need for deionized water. Um, at least for a home user like me, a home DIYer like me, the weekend warriors, if you will. But yeah, this has this is still softening up water just fine. I uh, did one of those test strips um, not too long ago, and it's still, you know, good. And then yeah, this is just a little. These are the valves right here um, that I would have been using if. Uh, if I still uh, was using the water deionizer and such like that, right? It, it used to like go around the car, but because the, the size of the car is different, now I have to re either reconfigure it or just abandon it altogether for right now, which is the latter. Um, <laughs> and then, yes, and then, so that's how I put the, the hose right here, right? You plug the hose in here, it goes into here, through here. And then up the thing and out here and then here is where I have an extra little hose right here to pour into the bucket or whatever it is so um, and this is a little flow meter of sorts you can measure like how much water it's going through uh, how, how, how fast is it per minute or how many gallons per minute pretty nifty um, and you can also like tr to rotate the dial so whenever you're like uh, doing some other things you can like rotate it to your direction and then you can read it a lot easier that way um so yeah that's a pretty nifty one from restmo i bought this on amazon uh and then yeah there's just a little um quick connect female right here turn valve pretty basic stuff um stainless steel hose right here again just for pouring purposes right and then um that's pretty much the rest of that on top of here uh other than yeah i have two blowers right here so you have uh your wait what i have excuse me is my mini one that I, that I used to use for a short time and then i just caved in and went ahead and um bought this one which is the ryobi little hand blower right here you can like essentially um either make it into a leaf blower or blow away like you know water off of your car stuff like that it was built with that in mind too because you can definitely see the rubber tip right here there you go and um that definitely helps to prevent any accidental dings and whatever stuff Though that does not have, that has not happened to me, uh, thankfully. But you know, it's nice to just have it just in case. Uh, and then, hanging off also, off of my detail car is the brush for the wheel and tires. Right, it's one of those like softer ones. I actually use this though for tires shining. Pretty nice. I'm using a silicone tie uh, to um, hang it off, right? It's like one of those like bendable ties that you can like use over and over again. Pretty nice. We're really liking it. You can buy them off of like Harbor Freight or Amazon, whatever. My little headlight right here, you can see it on your head. Whenever I need it for um, whenever the sun goes down too fast, like in winter, for example. Very handy. My Eden uh, spray nozzle that I've been using quite a bit. It's got some scratches and stuff like that. 
So it kind of goes to show of how, what the wear and tear is like. But pretty nifty. I do like it. But I've been thinking... Um, I do want to try out the Elay spray nozzle thing. I know it's like 80 bucks or something with all the parts or whatever. All the important bits. But I'm very, very curious and tempted to buy one of those someday. Um, sorry if it's like too dark because I do have the, um, what do you call the, uh, what do you call the neutral density filter on here? If that makes sense. And I'm too lazy to take it off and store it somewhere. So, uh, I'll just have to deal with the light. Anyway, so right here, hopefully you, can, you guys can see that is my little trim restorer that also protects and um, does a pretty good job bringing back the trim to that nice blackness and also protect it from UV light stuff. And then a little applicator right here that I've been using for the sole purpose, random uh, O-ring. Oh, it's funny though, on this side of the cart. Hold on, let me uh, turn around all the way. Kind of a little difficult to do with one hand. Let me see. Okay. All right, that's good enough. So funny enough, these holders, little like holders right here, little compartments are from the old cart over there. By the way, that's like 30 bucks. This, by the way, I forgot to almost say is a hundred bucks, just hundred bucks flat pretty much. But these things do not come with it. I um, I took those, I'll, sa I sa I'll salvage those, or these rather, from the old cart and all the way to over here. What I did though, because of the size difference, is um, uh, I don't have it on my hand or on hand, but um, you can kind of see these uh, the backing, right? You peel it off uh, for um, what do you call those, like edge guards, right? You uh, mainly use those for like babies, so that they don't like crash their heads on the edge of like tables and stuff. So what I did was. Um, I essentially stuffed it into the uh, some of the parts of the edge, so that way these fit a lot better since um, the plastic walls were a lot thicker, but still flexible than these. And it's and it's funny because because these are stainless steel um, or just steel, I think um, they don't wobble around as much despite how thin they are. But they don't fit these too well at first. But then I sort of retrofitted them and now they are pretty pretty snug they're not even moving around anymore they did early on but not so much anymore right so and more on the edge guard stuff you can kind of see it right here so i just put these on just in case um, these are like adhesive stuff 3m i also bought these on amazon you get you get everything on amazon uh anyway so I've stick th stick this onto you know like the corners and stuff, wherever I think the car may or may get hit by, in case the car like I don't know falls forward or something. Um, it just you know because my driveway is on a little bit of an incline, it could you know move forward and crash into my car or anyone's really, and hopefully you know it, it these are just there in hopes of preventing any sort of damage or something on the car and um just hope that these parts don't hit the car first but if i do feel like um this configuration for right now is okay and it will it'll do but um yeah you know they're black and all that stuff so it's you know kind of blends in nicely don't really like see it too much you know but they're there for the sake of protection um, for the car and not so much the car itself. Okay, so yeah, the, the second, so the, yeah, it's a three, three, uh, three shelf cart, as you can tell already. 
So the second shelf has all my drying towels and other random microfiber towels, including the ones from Harbor Freight. I love these ones, the green and purple ones. Um, they have that plush side and then also the, uh, the terry side, right? The, the less, the, like the sort of, sort of the more shorter side and then you have the plush side. You can interchange them pretty cool, right? They're in their, and they're edgeless also, so that doesn't, uh, you know, possibly, maybe not scratch <laughs> as much. Towel, uh, random towel, uh, random glass towel, um, drying towels right here, including the gauntlet, the liquidator, of course, my go-to, the twistress towels. And then on the bottom are the rest of my chemicals that I don't really use often, but um, will use if needed, including water spot remover gel, my, of course, uh, my nano wheel tire cleaner in a pour and measure bottle. These are nice. Um, some pol polish slash compound, right? The one step for, uh, with 3D1. Very, very handy. My diluted APC. I believe it's a 1 to 10 or 10 to 1. Then hence the question mark of APC. My not used built hamber touchless uh, snow foam. I'll use it someday. I'll probably use it right before winter solstice or whatever you call it, the uh, daylight savings. Uh, I remove from stone, uh, stone, uh, stone and car care. That's supposed. That was like this was like the first um, odorless one, quote unquote. But people had their opinions about the performance. Here is the um, indicated free edition one that I got for free because of what happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty nice. And then not to mention, um, I do have a random bottle of distilled water right here just to like test the uh, hydrophobics on random parts of the car. So I have this like little tiny spray bottle, pretty nice that came with the uh, this Tokel style um, spray head, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go through everything. It's just the usual chemicals and all that stuff. All right, and then the other thing I, I, I forgot to mention almost is, um, let me see. This funnel right here, which um, is pretty handy so far anyway. It has like interchangeable like tubes or no uh, nozzles for different size bottles. So it includes a tinier one. And you see you get like a thread, it has the threads right here. So you can like swap them out. And then the big mouth, you get this like big mouth right here or bowl rather to catch all the liquid. So pretty nice. Um, that is a pretty much it. Uh, the fireman hose nozzle thing that I haven't used in a while, but I'll probably use it for when I'm pouring out um, soft water into the bucket. So I'll come in handy soonish again. Let me turn this around because this car not only is just better overall than my old one, given you know the price and everything. Um, hold on, let me try to move around with one hand here. Uh, though one of the key features for the car, it has a drawer. Ooh, look at that, right? So it's got all of my quote unquote essential tools and uh, little uh, random things in here, uh, including my tire shine applicator brush. These are nice for like uh, low profile tires. That's not, uh, pre it comes in pretty handy at times because I do because I do know people who have low profile tires. This is a nozzle cleaner. It's in case something gets clogged, so I have that on hand. These two are my sort of pipe wrenches. Uh, they're made of aluminum, so not, they're not the greatest, so they'll have their limited uses, but they're nice because um, they don't 
uh, scratch up the, the like the nuts and bolts or whatever. So they have their very specific uses, but it's something I've been using quite a bit. Random towels, including glass. Random other towels, glass. Um, TDS meters in case. My work gloves. Um, little doohickey stuff. My scan light right here. Just like a third party scan light. Um, it works. Not the greatest, but it works. Uh, power bank for my recording equipment, like my camera and stuff, just in case. This is actually my um, charging case for my microphone stuff, my lavalier mics. Uh, random screwdrivers in case. This is the actual screwdriver that came with for a cart when I was assembling it, so that'll be pretty important if I ever do need to tighten up something or something comes loose. So yeah, the drawer is actually really nice for right now. Um, it's got like other random parts in here, including all the rest of the parts of the funnel, right? You see, just in case if I ever need it. Um, so yeah, random USB type C cable right here for, I don't know, connecting the battery and stuff, power banks purposes. Um, I do have the keys for the drawer. It has a lock on it right here <laughs> but I don't think I'll ever use it but we'll see uh, and then yeah the the other th other the other thing about the car uh, oh yeah there's a random little pouch right here I used to use I was going to use this for the uh, for one of my uh, IK foam sprayer 12s but it was too big and cumbersome so I just hang it on the handle right here for the car and as I put random stuff in here, including, including my detail brush. Okay. And then, um, uh, yeah, headlight right here, like I said. And yeah, so pretty handy also. Pretty nice. So overall, the, so far, the car is looking pretty nice, right? Um, the only issue I have, though, is the swivel casters. Um, in the in the sort of like what do you call some descriptions it says it's supposed to be five inch but the pictures I've seen with other customer reviews they're all the same uh, what three inch or two inch or something they're, they're smaller wheels so a little bit a little bit of deception right there in my opinion you need to update that description but the body itself is great I think for what it is um, at the price I mean and um, now this will definitely serve me a lot longer and all that stuff it's fully three uh you know fully swivel that way i can like maneuver it a lot easier so it'll be pretty pretty good and um hopefully yeah uh we'll see how long this lasts you know yeah you know metal on metal is not great because if you do be, be careless with it it could fall forward or roll forward towards the car and hit it possibly if you're not too careful somehow but it's like you have to i think you have to try but you just never know i guess right but that's why i uh, that's why i also put the edge guards on here these are you know not pretty nice foam edge guards right that's why i did it in the first place so yeah i'm pretty happy with it, it looks great love the co black color it's a lot it's a lot longer uh, overall, so um, the width I think is about the same, but the length is is, is what makes the difference, and that uh, allows me to have a little more room, looks a little more organized. You know, I was essentially outgrowing that car over there, hence why I kind of wanted to um, get a new one for a while now. Uh, that one over there served me very well for what it was. It was thirty bucks, so I can't really complain. Though I did modify a little bit so the casters are bigger. That's why I added the moving um, dolly uh, and essentially screwed it on there to um, help with that. Well, we'll see about the casters on here. If it's too small or whatever, uh, if it has a hard time getting over the cracks, then I'll definitely have to invest into um, swapping out the casters. So that will be... That, that'll be doable. It's just finding the right size for them, for the screws. 
So that's about it for this part. I've been working on another project and it's pretty much done. It's just, it's not nothing too complicating, but the concept is going to be kind of mind blowing if I, if, if we can get this right. And let me take you guys over here. Ta-da! So, <laughs> um, right away, you know, some of you would be like, hey, it's just a trash can. But take a look at this. I have a hose spigot right here with the turn valve and everything. And it also has a female quick connect right here. Uh, that will allow me to attach a hose right here, the garden hose um, right here. And what this is going to serve is possibly a gravity fed um, water tank of sorts that will be full of rinseless wash solution. Um, 256 to 1, right? As Ivan LaCroix loves to, you know, drive it home, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> always tries to drive that home. Anyway, so um, this, uh, I, the, the trash can itself is like 22 bucks, I think. This is a 10 gallon uh, trash can. Um, I'm going to repurpose this into a gravity fed uh, tank of sorts, water tank, for my pressure washer. I got that idea from mobile detailers. They do that gravity fed system from their car. So I think I think that idea was really cool and I uh, sort of popped into my head after watching another video from Ragged Company. Um, somebody was using the new, what do you call, um, the, like what is it? It's like one of those like battery powered um, pressure washers. And that was that has a feature where you can actually um, cipher bucket water into the pressure washer and it uh, can uh, pressure wash from there. So what he did was in that video was um, adding rinse and wash. So you can not only rinse and wash, but you can power, uh, uh, power wash away all the dirt and grit and everything all in one go. If you're so worried about like, oh, you know, rinseless, oh, you know, you're not, you're not rinsing off, so um, you have all that dirt and whatever crap on there as you're contact washing and stuff, right? Which first off, that's wrong, right? Because one, rinse less does not mean no rinse. It means you're rinsing less, right? But anyway, to all that aside, this is hopefully going to follow that same principle successfully and allow me to gravity feed my pressure washer and spew out rinseless wash with just um, this trash can right here, 10 gallons and everything. So hopefully that'll be enough water weight to come down um, and then, you know, go through here and then it'll be on, the it has to be elevated of course, right? So it'll be on an elevated platform, uh, elevated part, right, on the driveway. It'll be on the porch, pretty much. That'll be hopefully uh, successfully gravity feed, gravity feed the pressure washer with all the solution and such, and then thus uh, power washing with rinse and wash. So I took all those little ideas and I was like, hmm, right? Um, combine the two is what came out from my little brain. <laughs> so the rest of it is just some bungee cord to tie it down to um, uh, this dolly right here. This one costs also like 20 bucks. The spigot itself is like what, seven bucks or eh, 10 bucks-ish, depending. This is stainless steel, so that's nice to match the stainless steel uh, connector. And then this is just the actual like third-party lid because um, lids for 10-gallon trash cans is very uncommon. So I bought this one um off of ebay or not ebay amazon excuse me i don't know how that happened um unfortunately it does not quite fit well it's not that it doesn't like tightly fit you know <laughs> so what i'm gonna do to make sure no bugs or anything gets in there is have this tarp right here this is actually like a tarp for trash cans 55 gallons, right? A little too big, right? Just a little bit. So I have a bungee, like a little uh, mini bungee cord tie thing that's also meant for trash cans. 
and you can like wrap this around uh, 10 gallon uh, trash cans and um, cover it that way to make sure nothing gets in there. Because you know, when you have um, puddles of water, mosquitoes love that, so they'll get in there. But my question is, can they breed and lay eggs and it rinses wash? That I don't want to find out, so that's why <laughs> I have this tarp to make sure um, mo no mosquito gets in there. Of course, you got to close off this valve as well, but yeah. Um, or any other bugs for that matter too. If the lid itself doesn't do the uh, do it do a good job, hopefully you know tying off and bag, um, tarping this up and covering it up will do the rest, right? To for insurance. But yeah, um, you can kind of look inside, see what that looks like, right? You can definitely see the end right there. So pretty neat, right? Um, and then uh, drilling the hole wasn't too bad. I, um, I luckily had one of those like um, here. I'll, I'll actually show you. So I actually found this by the backyard uh, door. Uh, we keep like a bunch of random to old tools over there, and I have these. Uh, bits right here and I use my impact drill or screwdriver rather um, it's, it's, it's uh, actually it's up here it's the M12 uh, fuel impact driver it's in the bag right now so I don't want to take it out I'm too lazy but uh, it's one of those like quiet surge ones so it was like very very nice and smooth operating and um, I attached a seven eighths inch bit right here i forget these what, what these are called um i know these are like for drilling putting holes into like soft materials which was perfect for this it just put a hole in there very easily for flying colors and um yeah you can do this for wood i think also for plastics um this was perfect perfect timing that I found this. So yeah, using uh, seven eight, I used a seven eighths inch bit right here, made that hole, uh, screw it in, um, tighten it all up. It was pretty magical. It was really, it was like that was like the, one of the easiest things I've done in a while <laughs> when it comes to like these sort of projects. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So yeah, I I had this for like a long time ago when I used to do. Um, a bunch of projects with a bunch of projects with wood or PVC pipes. I used to actually make uh, air cannons, <laughs> so this came in handy at times. Um, so let me put that back here. Just, okay. So yep. Pretty, hopefully, uh, it looks good, at least. <laughs> the concept is there, right? Because, you know, we've had videos on YouTube with people using, like, a big barrel of um, water or whatever, and they just use that to spray. I think it's, like, full of, like, rainwater or something, like rain barrels, and they have these spigots. And they use, like, use them for, like, other purposes, so... This should not be too far off. It's just a matter of if 10 gallons is enough to efficiently feed my um, pressure washer, right? Hopefully. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> but it should work. It should work. All right. So that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, so yeah, uh, it can like cast around. This one's like way smoother. I wonder if I can swap these wheels for the ones here. Hmm. Maybe. Because these are like a lot smoother. But that may be also because these are like, um, they don't have a lot of weight under them. <laughs> so, yeah. The only huge issue with this car right now is that, uh, I know it's too dark right now, but yeah, here you go. These screw uh, nuts and little bolts 
are too a little too long. That's why they uh, interfere with the swivel um, bug. Sorry, um, they interfere with the swivel, like I've been saying earlier. That's my only big complaint about that right now. So um, what you could do is just put the hardware upside down. That could be the issue or resolve the issue, um, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if when uh, when I actually use the car uh, the next time I wash my car or whoever's car. Yeah, but um, that also kind of freed up a little bit of space right there because I'm put, uh, I am put put a bunch of stuff over there now thanks to the uh, little knee, um, detail car I used to use now, formerly my main one. You know, it's, it's you know, it's so cute. You know, it's, so, it's, so, it's such a little nice little thing I've had. I, I try to push it as far, far as I could. You know, I guess figuratively and literally, but yeah. Um, it starts to like wobble and stuff. You can kind of see right now because it's plastic, right? Because it has a plastic body, it just wobbles. So that is unfortunate. Um, you know, it would come to a point where I feel like it'll start to like really make me question. So that's why I switched over to the metal cart right here. Nice metal cart so that is all she wrote for that one right it did serve me pretty well right adds off to you a little cart but now we got this big baby right here again it's it's the same width it's a, it's just the length that's different besides well the metal body and all that stuff <laughs> so yeah it does look cleaner overall, like, yeah. Um, it did give me opportunity to organize a little bit more, but I think the drawer actually really helps with that because that's where I can like put all my random crap in here. Thus making all this part a lot cleaner. So yeah, it's got all the important bits in here. There was one more part I wanted to um, incorporate into this, uh, regime, but, um, one of the parts was broken. And so I had to actually refund it today on, the, I had like the, the, <laughs> it came in today as I record this. And, uh, what, what, what it, what it is, is a, um, one of those like water flow timers that I'm going to try to experiment with, see if it works or not for me. And um, the screen on it was like broken, so I um, went ahead and refunded it like right away. Um, and I gave that to Coles, right? And uh, one of the Coles, the usual Coles I go to was um, closed because it actually had a power outage. So I had to go drive farther to another Coles, and uh, that's where I did my refund. So that's it should be fine. A replacement is coming, so hopefully that'll be. The one that works so hopefully yeah so yep i'll put um this this won't be in the um on top of the washing machine like this for any longer i'll actually go outside and um put it there and store it and all that stuff it'll, it'll just sit there by the porch um with the cover on and everything so hopefully nothing gets in there it stays clean all that stuff so um, fingers crossed that this gravity tank thing, um, works. Again, it's 10 gallons, right? And, uh, um, hopefully the rinse and washing and all that stuff will be, you know, mind-blowing with this thing. I don't know. It's so funny it's just, because it's just a trash can with a, uh, hose bigger right here. But, yeah. If it doesn't work, I just gotta get a bigger one, right? Simple as that. And I'll just buy the more common, what, 22 gallon trash uh, can. And then um, we'll go from there. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I could repurpose one of my recycle can, the, the trash cans I use for recycling and repurpose that trash can and then make it into this, right? Because yeah, um, not the hardest thing you know, to build these. I don't know, it's just so cute. It's, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why 
the stuff I build is like cute because I probably, um, maybe because I like scale it down on purpose to like, uh, meet my needs because I'm not, I'm not a, a professional or anything that anything like that. I'm just an amateur, uh, weekend warrior, car detailing, whatever, nut. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. It's just, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> But yeah, this is an official Rubbermaid trash can too, on top of that. So which is pretty funny. Um, you know what, actually? Does this have a, a thing with a hole in it also? Oh, okay. Well, maybe I can use that instead, maybe, of just covering it. Because, although I don't know, because I'm trying to see if any mosquito or bug could ever get into here because that's because i don't want mosquitoes that's the that's the one thing i do not want to happen um but it seems like we're going to be okay it's just yeah i don't know because i could just take this uh bungee cord and then, then um uh tie it onto here instead of here the handle and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna be yapping for another 10 minutes. So yeah, let's end it here. So yes, new car, project done with that. Uh, hopefully the gravity feed will happen and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, oh well, we tried, you know. I can like repurpose this to be like, I don't know, my dirty towel bucket thing. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a, an idea. So yep, yeah, essentially my detail cart, well, technically it didn't really evolve, but yeah, kind of did. My detailing game kind of quote unquote evolved a little bit. So yeah, I really like the drawer though. I think, I think the drawer is very, very key as to why this looks a lot cleaner in the first place. But we'll see, you know, how much more stuff is gonna be on here because I have more stuff coming in to try out. Cause, um, Eddie Cologne and Jamie the Cleaner um, came out with their products. And then Pan the Organizer came out with this uh, products recently around the same time. So I'm like, oh, I wanna try them all. <laughs> um, I, I, I love watching their stuff, it's, it's great. Um, I love what they do. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I love seeing um, that process be done by me and I kind of see like, oh yeah, this does work. You know, this does, that does uh, works as well. And then, um, you know, and then I come up with my own little experiments like this. And, you know, sometimes it works sometimes, and sometimes it may, it may not, we'll see. You know, and in different configurations, does that work for me? You know, that stuff like hanging <laughs> water softener tank onto my car like this. It's it looks ridiculous. Like when when people walk by and look at my stuff, they're like, wow. <laughs> they're like, just like they, they did. They do one of those like double takes. It's so funny. I love the reactions because I got this, 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 <laughs> that and then. <laughs> Now I'm going to have this on my fucking driveway. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm yapping. I'm yapping still. Oh, look. Yes. My um, spare parts now. I have some spare parts for possibly later. And yeah, oh, man, my water deionizer is just not being used. But I know it's not going to be used because it, it, it will get burned fast. That resin is going to turn brown very fast with my water. You know, that's the thing about uh, de uh, deionizing water, man, in different parts of America, man. Results may vary, <laughs> very, very much. Yep. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, try out the Detail Co. and Clean lineup of products. Um, so sneak peek, uh, Detail Co. will be first. I'm probably going to use that to test it on my mom's car because it hasn't been washed for a hot minute. Just dusty, but yeah. And then um, 
Pandy organizer stuff, which is the clean clean lineup. I will also test that out as well. Um, the one thing I will say that caught my eye very fast is Pan the organizer's um, uh, ceramic spray sealant because that is a rinse off spray uh, the spray on rinse off sealant, kind of like wet coat, quick beads. And if those just last as long as quick beads and wet coat. Um, I'm sold because that the gallon is like 60 bucks. That's like to me to me a good uh, a nice steal because the ga a gallon of wet coat is like 100 bucks. A gallon of quick beads 100 bucks. If um uh pans um ceramic spray sealant is just as good, I'm sold. I am absolutely sold. I'm going to buy that I'm gonna buy that gallon bottle so fast. It's just 60 bucks, you know, around 60 bucks, give or take. So yeah, sorry, running thoughts, I know. I just love talking about car detailing. I like talking about those kind of kind of things. Um, for, those, for those who are also curious, I do game as well. That's why you also see gaming videos on, on the channel. So I'm a gamer and a detailer, I guess. Anyway, so that's it for me, for realsies. I know, I know, I yap, but that's what these journals are there for. Uh, if you have any comments about the car, you have any comments about my old car, you have any comments about my hopefully gravity feeding tank, leave the comments in the comment section below. Please let me know if, if I need more water to gravity feed. Will it gravity feed just as well 10 gallons? Or even five gallons, I don't know. We'll see. Um, if that's the case, right, uh, that's a good excuse to use up my O&R real fast. <laughs> because I, I, I have that O&R just sitting there, just doing nothing. And the, uh, the old uh, DIY detail stuff, yeah. Anyways, uh, leave, all those, leave all those comments down below in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out, and I do appreciate it. And yeah, so this has my detailing journal as of September 22nd. What time is it right now? It's almost midnight, so it's almost the next day, literally. And yeah, the sun is going down too fast now for me. <sighs> I, 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 I absolutely hate winter solstice. It's just... No. <laughs> I have to wake up earlier uh, just to do the same things I like doing. <laughs> but anyways, that's life. Um, thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.